hello everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel with another useful and informative video so guys in this video i'm going to show you how to fix to avoid interruptions to your subscriptions and purchases verify your payment information or add a new payment method in iphone in ios 18. so guys if you have updated your device to the latest version and now you are facing this issue and you are unable to make purchases or use your payment method on your iphone here I will show you how can you fix it and how can you use your payment method very easily. So guys for that you have to simply watch this video till the end. So guys first of all go back to your home screen and now you have to open settings in your device. And then you have to simply tap on your profile. And then you have to simply tap on payment and shipping from here. And wait here for some seconds. So guys, from here you had to simply remove your payment method for one time and after this go back and now sign out your device for one time and after this you have to restart your device for one time as well. So I simply sign out your Apple ID and restart your device and then you have to open your profile again and then you have to tap on media and purchases and then tap on view account and wait here for some seconds again. So guys, now you have to simply tap on manage payments from here. So I simply tap on this and then wait again for some seconds here. And now you have to simply update your payment method for one time as well. So guys, you have to simply add your payment method again from here. So I simply select your debit or credit card and then give here the number of your debit or credit card and then date of expiry and then the security code. So guys do this and after this give here your billing address correctly as well. So I simply tap on this and add your billing address and you have to simply save this information in your device. So I simply tap on done button and save this information in your device. And after this you have to simply check if the problem has been fixed or not. And if the problem is still there then you have to simply contact the Apple support team for further information and help. So guys, hopefully they will try to fix this problem for you within 24 hours. So guys, that's it for today's video. Hope this video helps you. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. Thank you.